give us a thumbs up. We love a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe as well. We want to boost that subscribe number. And um, tell your friends as well if you think they might be interested. Or if you think they might be like, want to give some criticism, bring it on. Hello. Uh, but no, share this video with uh, anyone you think might care. Yeah, that'd be totally fine. I'll leave you my mobile, uh, which is uh, zero. Thank you, Hannah. Thanks for your help. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Hi, everyone. Uh, an emergency vlog is now underway because... Um, well, you might have just seen from that last clip, so I've just been on the phone and I'm expecting several people to call me back, so sorry if I get interrupted. But I've been spending this afternoon, or well, what time is it now? The last little while, on the couch, it's kind of evening, what are we, half past six. So the last little while, on the couch, under the duvet, had a bit of the telly on, had the heating on, you know, just hiding from the beast from the east. Um, which isn't too bad here, to be fair, but is absolutely miserable elsewhere. Um, and so, I've just had, oh this is good, I've just got somebody's number that I needed, it's all happening, just had a phone call from BBC Radio Scotland saying that Kay, uh, Kay Adams, whose programme I've been presenting from time to time in the last little while, um, is, she had tomorrow booked off, um, and that was fine, and they had somebody booked to cover her programme, uh, but they can't make it because they're snowed in. So... Guess who is going to do the programme? Oh, hang on. Phone call. Hello? Hey Chris, how are you doing? Yeah, not too bad at all, thanks. Not too bad. Yeah, sorry it's so last minute. Um, everyone suddenly becomes snowed in. <laughs> well, to be, I come in, um, like I'll be coming in for like seven, so I'm happy to just go and work straight out of the workshop at seven if possible, just to make sure that I'm in there. That's cool. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much for your help. That's great. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Right, so that was uh, Chris, who is one of the senior studio directors. I look rough, don't I? Probably because I've just been like lying down and switching off. Um, he's one of the like senior studio directors here at, in Manchester at the BBC here. Um, and that was him just saying... Well, basically, because I need a studio. I need a studio to present from at Media City. And obviously, there's other programmes on air from Media City at that time. Uh, but they found me one. So he is going to go and uh, make sure that it's got the right stuff in it, basically, to make the programme work. So he's going to actually ring back in a sec once he's worked that out. Um, but I should probably give the editor a call to uh, back, Radio Scotland editor, just to say that that's all sorted. But I also need to speak to... Joe, my colleague, who I was supposed to be working with tomorrow on the new project that I mentioned. Um, I was supposed to be alongside her. A lot of that I'm not going to be able to vlog, by the way. But I'm supposed to be working with her, so now I need to phone or text. I'll just text her because it's the evening, so I don't want to bother her. Um, and say that I'm going to be a little bit late for that. Which I think will be fine because it's kind of early testing stage of the project. And this is like broadcast critical, as we like to call it. Not to make it sound too dramatic. Um... But yeah, right, let me go and text Joe. Oh. I've just been sent Joe's number, so I'm trying to add it and failing miserably. Right, there we go. I also need some water. I'm very thirsty. Hey Susan, it's Callum. Sorry I missed your call. <laughs> yeah, good thanks. How are you? Good. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Happy to help. Happy to help. Yep. I haven't. I've just been. Um, I can check while I'm on with you though. Hang on. Give me two secs. Basically, I was just going to talk to you through. Right. Really. Oh my word. Yeah. What oh, a shame. Yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? It's a bit <laughs> uh huh. Wow. Cool. 
Great. Nice one. Looking forward to it. Thank you, you two. Cheers. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. -bye. <sighs> Man. Right, okay, so that's Susan, who is producing the program tomorrow. Um, basically, what she was doing there was just running through all the stuff that they've... I'm just saving her number for tomorrow. Um, all the stuff that they've already set up for the morning. Um, done. Okay, good. Uh, so that I've kind of got a vague idea of what's happening. Now, while I was on to her, somebody, which was no caller ID, which generally means work, called as well. So let's check the voicemail. Chris. I don't, he's emailed me as well, so I think I'll just reply uh, to this rather than phoning him back. Uh, hi Chris. Whoops. Where's the blooming dash on here? There it is. Just picked up your voicemail. Was on to Glasgow. Thanks so much for all your help. This is great. See you in the morning. Just so, just been running around kind of making the arrangements for that, but I think, I think we're now sorted. Um, Susan's emailed me all the stuff. Chris, the studio director, has emailed me all the info. Um, and so that's us, I think. I think we're sorted. So now I just need to read through the info for tomorrow, so I've kind of got it in my head and then get into the office for about seven, because it would just be a little bit more complicated because of the extra kind of layers of technology. So, emergency vlog. Beast from the East strikes, and so, do I think I need a nickname? What could my nickname be? So when the, the Beast of the East strikes, and, and Callum comes, comes rushing onto the radio. I mean, let's go with that, that's fine. Anyway, so this evening, I'll read through all of this, and get to bed nice and early, because I'll need to be up nice and early to get in. Nice and early. And hope that there's no snow in Manchester, because that would throw a bit of a spanner in the works too. But I think we should be okay. Twas the night before radio miss. I don't know. Uh, but yes, it's time for bed. I've been reading through the material. The last little while I've just been watching Faulty Towers, <laughs> to be honest, which has been nice. Uh, but it is time to go to bed and get ready to present Radio Scotland live from England. Good. Talk in the morning. Morning, 6.30. I, I don't know I'm running a little bit behind given that I'm going to need to defrost the car. But just uh, collecting some radio essentials, I've had my headphones on charge. Just going to pop you down. Five lives on in the background, don't mind that. Uh, had my headphones on charge overnight. Alright Chris. Pipe doing. So, just packing up the uh, radio essentials. Sounds like, from the bits of radio I've been listening to this morning, sounds like it has been a grim, grim night for lots of people because of the weather. So that's what we're going to be talking about on the radio. Right, I better go. I don't know if you'll be able to see through my horrible blinds. That's what it looks like outside here. So there is snow on Gary just there, you can see. So I'm going to have to go out and tackle that. Oh, I'm cold just thinking about it. Right, headphones, got. I've left my backpack in the car, so I'm going to have to dump all of this in. When I get out, car key, black key, lights off. These ones go off when I go outside, so I can leave them. Right, we good? What's next, you ask President Bartlett? The radio, that's what's next. Yeah, it's cold. It's slippy. Oh good, what fun. There's nowhere to put you so you can see the next bit without getting snow all over you, so you're going in the car. It says on the car thermometer, minus 3.5. Burr. The tea icer has been sprayed. The heaters are on full. So now we just have to sit and wait 
I'm going to turn up the radio. Talking a lot about that, but there is also something about the beauty of the wonders. Oh, look, there we are, minus 3.5. Stunning, bright, bright sun. Hello from Media City UK, uh, which is where I always work every single day in fact. As you can see it's not that bad here, there's a bit of snow blowing in the air right now and some of the like quieter roads, um, they were also a bit snowy on the way in but nothing too serious. As you saw the car park of mine was pretty snowy. Uh, but not too bad, not too bad. So I'm gonna go now because I think the wind will be ruining everything I'm saying. Cool, speaking a bit, cheers. Hey, bye, bye. Um, so, a number of things happened there. First of all, the keyboard and mouse on this computer weren't working, so that's what the engineer was doing. Uh, just been on the phone to the team in Glasgow, finding out what's actually happening in the programme. And now I'm about to try and find a number for a guest that was on Five Live, and we'd like to speak to ourselves on Radio Scotland. Um, so I'm going to go and ask the team if they have her number. Then I need to write my opening menu script and the TV trail, which they're just, obviously I'm not there to do the TV bit this morning, so they're just going to read that out, basically, uh, this morning. And I'm, now I'm texting my mum. Now in the broom cupboard, uh, join me, that's such an out of target reference, isn't it? Now in the studio, join me as I try to change the TV channels. Okay, so there's the TV, well there's two, there's one of them but we have to change it on this screen here. And I think I want it on 110 for BBC News. Has it changed? Yes, it's changed. Good. Now, let's try and change that one. So TV2, and we'll put it to 110 to begin with. And over it flips then I want it on a different channel because watching the same thing twice is completely stupid but I just can't remember what number Sk I'm gonna put it on Sky don't tell anyone Sky News it's just to see how not to do it basically I think it's important to be aware of um, of you know what doesn't really work there we go Sky 742 live from W14 at 9am for the Kay Adams programme, this morning with me. So this is where I'm presenting from. I'm not on BBC Radio 5 Live and I need to remember that. But this is what it'll look like. So I need to do my own uh, microphone today. This is me, the red one. Up we go. And look, oh, all the red lights. How exciting what everybody pictures when they think of a radio studio. And it's right here, live from W14. Uh, do you want to see the view outside? Oh, the blinds are shut. Uh, I can't show you the view outside. Not right now, anyway. Maybe show you in a bit, once I've written this and read some more stuff. If you're wondering what I do pre-program, there is another vlog which I'll leave a uh, link to in the description uh, below, because the morning routine is pretty much the same, regardless of where in the country I actually am. So, um, feel free... Feel free to... I need to message somebody to get that number. So yeah, morning routine is pretty much the same, just in a different office. So go and have a look at that other video um, if you want an idea. Um it's also flipping roasting in here. Sorry if you're watching this and you're out in the cold. 
warnings. John Swinney, you know, was reminding us that the, the amber warning has been in place now for some time. We've just listening, um, and, and people listening in, we just connected to Glasgow and, and about to do the trail yesterday. onto um, you know, Good Morning Scotland, the breakfast off, programme. The There's been somebody who's been well, stuck you, uh, since, like, on a motorway since 7 o'clock last night, so that's like and, uh, nearly 14 uh, hours. He says 12 inches of snow has fallen overnight. 12 yeah, inches. Other people, isn't it? That's always the problem, I suppose. Um, still has an accident and death toll six times as much as constructed. Okay, Cal, must be very sharp. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Of course, yeah, no worries. It's just the engineer in Glasgow asking me to keep it quite short because <laughs> uh, they're well up against it, which is fine. Hi, good morning both. Well, as you might expect, it's all about the weather this morning. We've just been hearing a couple of people there with really dramatic stories of how it's affected them. So from nine o'clock, we're continuing to bring you all the information you need. Plus, we're asking on the phone in as we enter day two of the red snow alert, which is still in place for the next little while. How is Scotland coping? The phone lines are open right now. 08085 92 95 00. It's all about the weather from nine o'clock. Cheers, see ya. Short and sweet, very clear. Yes, they said they were a bit slammed, so. Greg James has just come on. He's trying to climb Ben Nevis today. Grim. Nothing then. Um, this t shirt you know, is definitely too small for you. Overtime to catch up. You may One lose minute. Work. Thank you both, safe travels. It's Red Alert Day 2 in Scotland. Give us a ring, 08085 92 95 00. How are we coping with the beast from the east? It'd be great to hear from you, 08085 92 95 00. Let's start with the BBC News at 9 with Christine Finnegan. For you. Midday, programme done, lots of weather. I'm going to leave a link so you can listen to the programme. Um, it's in the description box right now for you to click and listen back to it if you want to. Uh, that would be fun. Um, tweet me with your thoughts at Callum AM, Callum with one L. Uh, it's midday, just after midday, and now I'm going to go and work on this special work project that I keep mentioning and can't tell you anything about. Sorry about that, but I've got to go and do that for the rest of the day, so I'm going to shoot off and probably won't be vlogging all that much, but check in with you a bit later on. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Hello, quick end to the vlog as I um, head to bed. It's uh, 10 o'clock at night, but that's just showbiz. <laughs> um, I'm knackered. People often um, sort of, I don't know, comment I guess on, um, on perhaps like when people present programs they kind of work fewer hours or whatever. But actually, I totally understand why. <laughs> it is so draining. Oh my goodness. So, quick run of the day for you. Although, as I say, it is another vlog, so feel free to check them out. Up at six, in for seven, work, 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 read, get information, find things out about the topics that are coming up on the programme. On air, nine till midday. The, and, I mean, Presenting a program where you're speaking to, I mean, how many different people do we have on in three hours? I don't know. Uh, like, 20? Maybe between 20, I should maybe count that one day, actually, that'd be interesting. Between 20 and 30, 
all saying different things, uh, all saying kind of unpredictable things. Today wasn't like controversial because we were doing a lot on the weather. Um, but you know, you still to listen to what, however many people, their sto the different stories that they're telling. So it's intense, so intense. Uh, it's great fun, don't get me wrong, and bloomin' love it. It's the best thing ever. Um, but yeah, it's mad. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that was really fun. So did that today. Uh, as you know, kind of last minute call up because the weather in Scotland has been grim as anything uh, the last couple of days and actually isn't particularly getting much better by the look of it. Uh, and then after that I had to go and do what I was uh, originally meant to be doing today anyway, which was um, uh, this new pilot thing with work. So went and did that from midday till probably about half six. Um, and then got back to mine after seven. And watched a film um, on Netflix. But do you know the way when you're absolutely knackered? <laughs> you get like halfway through the film. And you're just like, oh my days, I can't wait for this to be over. <laughs> like, the film was so good. It was Inside Man, which I've seen before, but was worth watching again. But you just get to that stage of total tiredness where you're like, I'm actually paying no attention to this anymore. I don't even care what happens. The ending could have changed since the last time I saw the film, and I literally couldn't care less. That was the stage I got to. Anyway, so that was today. It is a mad morning doing the radio, so um, so sorry the vlog's not up to, wouldn't be up to scratch. Um, but no, it's been a, what a fun day, just a really nice day. Living the dream. It's pretty cool. Um, and tomorrow, doing a bit more on this pilot project. Uh, and then it's the weekend. Woo, flipping who, bring it on. Um, you know, two or three days back from holiday. Ready for another one, to be honest. Uh, but no, I love my job, so I'm definitely not complaining. I'm just highlighting that it's mad. It's a mad old life. What was that? I don't really know. Uh, but it's been good. It's been good. And, um, I mean, one thing I wanted to say, I, well, I didn't want to say until about three and a half seconds ago, but actually I'm just really, really fortunate in the people that I've... I work with because uh, they're all just really nice and really good at giving really cool opportunities um, and that's something that I think you under you can underestimate is how great your colleagues are and bosses as well I mean not I mean they are colleagues but you know what I mean um, just how yeah how kind they can they are with giving opportunities to people and don't get me wrong it's not like you know it's not like these things are just like served up on a plate. That's not how it works. But actually a lot of it depends on people just being cool about going, yeah, give it a shot, see what happens. So that was basically what today was all about. I um, hope you've enjoyed this weird vlog. Not sure I'm really getting the hang of it, but hey, you know, no controversies yet. So we're doing all right. Um, Make sure you hit a thumbs up. And yes, let's see what happens next. Um, I know what's happening next for me. I'm going to sleep. Good night.